Oh, I needed that. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Man, do I have a story for you guys. Now, number one, you guys are probably wondering, why is he vlogging on the GoPro? Hmm. Well, the video that you are about to watch, I literally filmed it yesterday. It's the next morning, and... Uh, I dropped my camera and the tripod in the water. If you guys are looking for a new camera, just go over to uh, the coordinates down in the link below and go grab my camera because it's just chilling down at the bottom of the lake, gone forever. Yeah, I am cameraless again and we had this issue during duck hunting season. I dropped my other camera in the water. I got this camera. That's gone forever, and now I'm back to not having a camera again. So, hope you guys enjoy the uh, GoPro vlogs, and hope you guys really like these videos and watch it a lot so I can go buy another camera. Anyways, the video you're about to watch, wow, yesterday I went out and I absolutely hammered, absolutely hammered the crappies. Now, the footage, uh, like before I got to the lake, is obviously gone forever because the SD card and the camera are gone. The actual footage of me going fishing is still there, but funny enough, I did have one long, I had like a 25 minute long GoPro clip. For some reason, it, it's not letting me open the file. It's not letting me like repair it or anything like that. So uh, I think I have some fish catches on camera still that you guys are gonna watch and then I'm gonna pick up the video again after you guys watch it and we're gonna cook them because I have them in the fridge right now and we're gonna do a little catch clean cook action with them. But first, you guys should probably go and watch how I caught them. And uh, before I, I let you guys see that, I just want you guys to know that today's video is sponsored by the Guggen Squad. Huge shout out to them for helping me out and uh, maybe they can help me out get another camera because your boy doesn't have a camera right now. But in all seriousness, if you guys wanna go check out anything on their website, if you use my code MINDAC at checkout, you guys can actually save some money. You know, who doesn't love saving some money? 10%, anything on that website, you guys can save it. So definitely go over there and do it. Yeah, I'm going through a midlife crisis right now, but okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy, watch me clap some crappies, and uh, you guys will see me in a little bit so we can cook them up. Alrighty guys, we have made it out to the middle of the lake and I found a school of fish. I basically just have been driving around in my kayak and uh, trying to mark stuff on the Garmin. I got a new mount and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is the setup. As you can see, I got my kayak right here. I got my little mount right there for my arm and stuff like that and the deucer. And then I got my Garmin. And then yeah, you guys know the rest. I got a new Guggen Squad rod. This is the Guggen Squad Finesse Green Series Light Rod. So this is like basically a, I believe it's like a 610. Um, it's a little bit lighter than my other walleye rod, but I got that rigged up with the bobber rod. And uh, yeah, I might give that a dang on. I also have a legit crappie rod right there. I wanted to pull the camera out right now so I can vlog kind of like my scouting process. I'm gonna post, I don't wanna post too much about it because uh, the next video that you guys see or a video in the future, I wanna do like an in-depth, like how to catch spring crappies and uh, go in more depth with the live scope and stuff like that. So you're not gonna see a live scope video today. I'm not gonna, I'm purposely not putting live scope footage in this just because I'm making you guys wait for the next video that I film. Anyways, this is the spot and uh, let me show you what we're dealing with. Okay, so today I ended up finding fish in 17 feet of water and they're pretty suspended. I'm assuming these are crappies, I don't know for sure, but we're in like 16, 17 feet of water. And if you see that, look at all those marks right there, okay? Those do be crappies, I believe, look at that. Look at all them suckers. And as you can see, they're in about like anywhere 10 to 17 feet of water. And yeah, they're suspended, so hopefully I can get on top of these guys. I wanted to film this right now just so I don't spook the fish. Uh, I, I don't wanna get too close to them because I feel like once I roll up on top of them, they're gonna dart. I wanted to film this right now a little bit ways away so I, you know, don't spook them and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, again, I'm not gonna tell you guys, like I wanna tell you guys all like a crappie tip video. That's for another video, okay? I'm saving it. This is just strictly crappie catch, clean, cook. We're gonna freaking put them in our mouth. Let the harvest mission begin. And yeah, it's starting to rain now. We love that. Alrighty, so that school moved off a little bit. So I'm just gonna take her off, spot lock, and we're gonna go find these bad boys again. I believe they are this way a little bit. Yep. Okay, they're about 80 feet that way. So we're gonna putz on over there, use a live scope to our advantage and see if we can get on top of these guys or 
not on top of them, but like, you know, somewhat close so I can make casts at them. That's the, the plan for today. Stay mobile, stay close to these fish and, and catch them, I guess. I'm about 30 feet off of them right now. Oh yeah, they're thick right now. They are thick right there. So they are in front of the boat about 30, 30 uh, feet that way or so. Today I'm gonna start out using the Frostbite Mini Dragon Slayer. Check that out. I got a little, a 16th ounce jig head, a split, some split shots and a bobber and just some light line and stuff like that. But let's see if I can get on top of these fish. Oh God, they're out there. They are 50 this way now. So I'm just gonna make a cast out there and hopefully I intercept them. They, they're starting to move that way. I think they heard me come over here. And basically I have my bobber set down about 12 feet or so. So I'll be kind of around them, maybe like 10 feet. But yeah, let's see if we can make some magic happen here, folks. Oh yeah, that might be the cast right there. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I wasn't even looking, I got one. First one of the day, boys. Please be a crappie. Yeah, it's a crappie. Let's go, oh my God, this school is so thick, bro. Holy crap, that's a nice eater. Just absolutely choked. The dragon slayer first fish of the day heck yeah i don't even have any of my stuff ready but he absolutely engulfed that oh my god yeah look at that first fish of the day oh my god this school is giant dude <laughs> i'm geeking right now i gotta get my stringer ready okay that's fish number one the school's still out there so i'm gonna cast out there and see if i can make some magic happen dude that is so awesome Literally, this is my first time ever using live scope in my kayak. Yeah, this is OP because literally I'm looking right now. I'm looking, I can see my jig and where I'm casting and seal the fish. I cast two of them, make precise casting and stay on top of these fish with the spot lock. The spot lock is very nice. I can roll up on them, click spot lock. I stay in one spot. Yeah, this, this could get dangerous, boys and girls. This could get absolutely gnarly. Oh my god, I was trying to fix my GoPro and one slurp me. Number two of the day. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm geeking, boys. Oh god. Yeet. Number two. We love it. If you guys are enjoying this video, click the like button. I'm starting to have a lot of fun, boys. I'm starting to have a lot of fun. All right, they moved. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move again. All right, so basically my process is reel up take us off the all anchor mode okay and then they're 70 feet in front of me so now we're gonna putz over there slowly not too fast just because i don't want to scare them that would not be good to scare the fish that you're trying to catch and once we get closer to them to a comfortable you know i would say like 30 feet away from them or so i like to click the spot lock button again and then start fishing and start hammering Okay, we're pretty much on them right now. I'm gonna click spot lock and that trolling motor is gonna do its thing and these fish are like right here. So we're gonna throw over there. Hopefully smack some fish. There we go, crushed. God, they're in like such thick schools right now. They're so close to each other. This is so cool. Oh, this. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is a daddy. Oh my God, get in here. Hold up, chill. Oh. <laughs> Just a freaking slaveroni. Oh my God, dude. That is a big one. That right there is a freaking slab, dude. Well, folks, that's a uh, good looking crappie, as you guys can see. We love that. That is way too big for me to keep. If you didn't know, the Green Series rod, they actually have kind of like a ruler right here on there. 
So I'm gonna actually measure this guy real quick and see how long this is. Um, let's put him on my rod. Mouth closed. Oh yeah. 13 incher. Shots to the Guggen rod for letting me measure that, but yeah. Big fatty 13 incher. She's gonna go back because she's a pretty looking fish. See you later, my guy. Y'all having fun yet? Oh, shoo! Smash, dude. Absolutely smash. Please be a keeper. Looking like a keeper. Yeah, not a bad one. There we go. Another keeper. I don't know if that battery just died or not. So, look at that. Another one. Probably a good 11 inch or so. They are just absolutely loving this Frostbite Dragon Slayer. I can't wait to use these during the spring and all my summer adventures for when I'm pan fishing. So, if you guys want to check them out, they'll be linked down below as well. But yeah, there we go. Number three keeper of the day. That's awesome. scope right now i'm literally jigging one on my that was so cool i was literally like jigging ice fishing like 30 feet away with the live scope oh my god i can't wait to film the live scope video for you guys because it's gonna be so cool for you guys to see and boom there's another one guys super big school right now and they haven't been moving much which is awesome for a live scope sniper like myself all right there's another one right there that's awesome i got let's see five on the stringer now oh my god there's so many fish right here like so many fish right here it's ridiculous dude holy crap i'm on the mega school boys Absolute mega school. Yep, here we go. There we go. Just like that, we're on again. Okay, at this point, it's every cast. This is getting stupid. Yep, there's another one. Oh my god. Just out here killing it, boys. Out here killing it. Paper mouths. Yep, that would be the last one for the Vidya. Look at that. Okay, yeah, it's every cast right now. We love that. We love it when the content is like that. Oh, goodness, boys. Hell yeah, but yeah, it's the last fish for me today. I'm going to go home, fry these bad boys up, and make some golden crispies. And folks, we are back to the present day and it's time to cook some fish. I actually have not eaten yet today, so I am really hungry. Also, hopefully you guys enjoyed that fishing section. I know one of the GoPros kind of bugged out there for a little bit, so I'm sorry about the wind noise. You guys had to bear through that, but you guys made it through. Now, let's, uh, let's definitely go cook some fish. So I got the fish in a bag right here, as you guys can see. I did a little bit of off camera cleaning and this is just some of them. The rest of them are inside the fridge, but I mean, shoo doggy, look at this, look at this piece right here. Look at this, oh, freaking chungus, dude. Absolute chungus. And then we come over here, open this bad boy up and uh-oh, Mr. J Siemens hooked it up again. I told him, I'm like, dude, your stuff is so good. You gotta send me way more and yeah. 
he, he literally did send me a lot more. So this stuff will be linked down below. You can go check it out if you guys want to. It's super good for catching cooks. And I'm going to do a lot more of my catching cooks on this channel with this batter right here. So plan is this and this are going to go together. The fryer is warming up right now. It takes about 10 minutes to kind of like warm up. And we're going to do the breading process in between then. And I wanted to point out that the last time I used this, well, I used this off camera and I did the whole flour, eggs, the usual spiel that I do. And it kind of subdued the, the spiciness of this, like the paprika and stuff like that. And I didn't like it. But if you guys remember, I think it was a couple of videos back when I was in Wisconsin at Brandon's Land cooking walleye. I just did water in this and it was so good. Like it was absolutely amazing that way. So I kind of want to do that again. I'm just going to take the fish and the batter, throw it right in here. Just like they're kind of like wet and watered, watered down. So the stuff is going to stick to it. And we're just going to throw it right in the fryer. Just like that. We're skipping the eggs. We're skipping the flour just because I want to do a little taste test. I do believe that the seasoning tastes better um, on its own, just like this without the flour and the eggs, because I think it kind of subdues it somehow. So we're going to give that a go and see if that makes a difference. And yeah, let's start breading these guys. It's you and me moving at the speed of light into eternity. Yeah, tonight is night. All right. All right. Don't know if you guys can see me very well, but we're just going to give her a dangle. I got the old GoPro, my vlog camera on a gooseneck right now. But so this is the seasoning right here. Okay. We're going to open this son of gun up here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, doggy. That smells good. Okay. We're going to take some of this. We're going to dump it out in here. Get a good amount in there. I'm kind of hungry today. Okay, so then we're just gonna take some crappies. We're just gonna throw them in, just how they are. I mean, I could probably cut them, as you can see right there, but we're just gonna go for it. We're doing chungus ones today. Oh, like, shoot. Those are huge, bro. Let's start with this right here. So you close this bag up, get a nice air pocket, okay? So you got air pocket. And then you just shake and bake with the Bobby boys. I don't know if you guys can see in there very well, but oh yeah, that looks delicious. All right, boys, the fryer is ready to go. We're going to dump in some of these bad boys to make some golden crispies. Let's check out how they came out. Holy crap. Look at that thing. It's the size of my freaking hand, boys. Oh God, here we go. Number one. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely doing some good stuff in there. Okay, we like to see that. I think since they're so big, I'm just gonna put two in for right now, just to kind of get it going. Let me find another one. All right, number two going in. Oh, okay, we'll let that do its thing. And then you know they're done once they start to float back up. So once these fish are floating, we'll come back out here and uh, we'll collect them. Boys, this piece is done. We are gonna take it out. Oh god, yeah. Oh ho ho ho. I mean, just look at that. It's a freaking chungus, bruh. Alright guys, finished product right there. We're gonna go in for a little bite here. Ooh, oh, this this see. is gonna be piping hot. Hope you're ready to watch some hot, 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 hot. one of those things. Alright, got a little ketchup on there, boys. Ah, they're hot. Ooh. I mean, look how good that meat turned out. Super white, super flaky. Mmm. Yeah. That freaking breading is good. Mmm. I just can't see the smoke, but... There's smoke coming out of my mouth. My goodness, that was muy delicioso. Huge shout out to my man, Jay, for hooking me up with that seasoning. And yeah, there you have it, folks. That is a crappie catch clean cook. And if you guys heard me talking earlier in the video, I was saying, ooh, you guys have to stay tuned for a live scope video. 
I actually did film a live scope video while I was there. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for, I don't know when it's gonna come out, but in a couple days probably, I'm gonna post a crappy live scope video. And some of the footage is actually really, really interesting. And I, I caught some more bigs. Definitely stay tuned to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. Prayers up for your boy for not having a camera anymore. I know we'll get through this, but I'm just moping around right now just cause I mean, it kind of sucks losing a camera. And I mean, I had some pretty juicy footage on there as well that you guys aren't gonna see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button on this video and also make sure to check out the Guggen Squad and also make sure to hit that notification bell that makes all of your notifications on. My friend told me that for some reason, like I don't know if YouTube defaulted everything, but it like kind of turned his notifications from like all notifications on to like the level under that. It's not off, but it's not like fully on. So make sure to go and check that all of your notifications are on because I would hate for you guys to miss some of my videos. And I, I don't know, I feel like it has been happening lately where YouTube has not been sending out a notification to my viewers, which I'm not very happy about. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We will catch you guys on another one.